G'day there and welcome to the Big Bus Tour and Travel Guide. Now, there are so many incredible reasons to pay a visit to Bundaberg here on Queensland's tropical wide bay. Not only do you get this wealth of period architecture, but also Australia's largest nesting population of marine turtles. And this is the home of Bundaberg rum. Something for everybody, really. Let's go check it out. Thanks to our good friends at Choice Hotels and Needabreak.com, this Bundaberg City Guide is chock-a-block with amazing things to see and do. Bundaberg is a fabulously historic city and the southern gateway to Queensland's Great Barrier Reef. We'll bring you culture, history, dining, shopping and relaxation must-sees and do's when you only have a day or two to explore. But first, you'll need somewhere central to stay, and the O'Connor Lodge Park Lane is located just a stone's throw from the city centre. It offers comfortable and affordable accommodation. The tropical-style saltwater pool is a great way to beat the heat. Well, one of the things Bundaberg is most famous for is its nesting population of marine turtles. Nesting occurs from November to January, and the tiny hatchlings emerge to make a run for the ocean from January through to March. Monrepose Turtle Centre on Monrepose Beach is operated by the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service. It offers seasonal beach tours at night with a ranger to witness both nesting and hatching. Bundaberg is also home to a very famous tipple. I caught up with Duncan at the Bundaberg Rum Distillery to find out how it all began. And what happened is a group of sugar millers got together, they were making an awful lot of sugar, and one of the byproducts you get when making sugar is a product called molasses. And so they worked out that the best thing to do with their excess molasses was to build a rum distillery. So a really important moment in our history because what it was was a group of mates coming together and someone having this great idea that basically benefited the, the greater good. Look, we've been running tours here at the distillery since 1986. However, uh, a year ago, we built the new visitor experience for facility which is what we're standing in now. So this warehouse has matured thousands and thousands of bottles of rum over the years. However, we decided to convert it into our museum. People come here and they'll get to learn about our brand's history. They're going to get to learn about our production process. There is no other rum in the world that tastes like Bundaberg rum and that's because every drop of Bundaberg rum is made here in the town of Bundaberg to our unique production process. So it's a fantastic experience. We'd really uh, urge everybody to come down and see this iconic Queensland attraction. Now it wouldn't be a visit to a rum distillery without a chance to try a drop of the liquid gold. Distillery tours and entry to the museum include two tastings. History lovers should make a beeline for Bundaberg's beautiful botanic gardens. Here you'll find a number of historic attractions, including the fabulous Australian Sugarcane Railway. What's amazing about this community project is that it's operated solely by volunteers. Climb aboard and take a spin around the picturesque gardens. Check the railway's Facebook page for operating dates and times. The history lesson continues at the Bundaberg and District Historical Museum, which is located just behind the railway station. The museum shares the story of the region's European settlement and charts the early days of the sugarcane industry. There's a mind-boggling array of artefacts and memorabilia to peruse. You'll need a couple of hours to do it justice. Still in the gardens, and Bert Hinkler is a name you'll hear a lot of in Bundaberg. This pioneer of flight remains one of the city's favourite sons. When guests come into the Hinkler Hall of Aviation, uh, they can expect a very warm welcome from our wonderful staff for a starter. And then we set them off on a journey around the world, starting with Bert here in Bundaberg where he was born, and then making your way across to England and all the fascinating stories of Bert Hinkle's life along the way. To pursue his career in aviation, he had to set off across the world, but his first flight was actually here, right on Monrepose Beach out of Bundaberg. Hinkler Hall of Aviation is a wonderful facility for all ages. 
whether you're a child or a grandparent. Uh, we have many interactive displays down there from glide and flight simulators, uh, movie theatrettes. So if you're a bit of a heritage buff or you just want to enjoy a beautiful day out in the Botanic Gardens, um, it's going to be a match for you. Time to taste the best of Bundaberg, starting with the freshest local seafood. Not only does Grunsky's by the River sell seafood, they catch most of it themselves. Enjoy a seafood platter and a chilled bottle of white overlooking the Burnett River at sunset. For tasty casual eats, join the locals at River Feast. Held in a repurposed boat building shed by the river, River Feast features an eclectic mix of street food vendors, a lively bar, market stalls and live entertainment. Check the website for upcoming dates. Cafe culture is alive and well in Bundaberg too. Top marks to Udi's Cafe in Bundaberg North, which does great coffee and has the vintage vibe nailed. In the city centre, drop into quirky Art Deco Earl's Court Arcade, which is home to bustling Aloysius Delicious. These guys do an awesome range of fresh salads and all-day breakfast faves. And finally, what better way to relax than over a cold beer at the boutique Bagara Brewing Company? The brewery is located right in the city centre and has a relaxed and friendly vibe. Try a tasting paddle of top drops like the Rusty Roo Irish Red Ale, Thirsty Turtle Bright Lager or Convict IPA, which is based on a recipe dating back to the colonial era. Match your paddle with a grazing board of local gourmet goodies. Book your Bundaberg stay with Choice Hotels and visit needabreak.com for more travel ideas.